There are some cannabis activists who aren't really thrilled about this particular measure going on the ballot. Take the licenses, for example. Activists are concerned that this will not truly be a competitive market because the majority of licenses are going to businesses already in the medicinal, medicinal program. But Legal Missouri 2022 promises the remaining 144 licenses to micro businesses and people in historically disadvantaged areas. We're joined now by KSHP 41 News reporter Mackenzie Nelson in the studio. Mackenzie, there's a lot more here than just should it be legal? Yeah, that's right, Kevin. I talked with some advocates today for Legal Missouri 2022, and they say it's a step forward, but it's also a step back. And they tell me that this amendment, it's the wording that they're not really getting behind. In this legal mode, you know, it, it's, it's prohibition 2.0. It's putting people back into jail. It's recriminalizing it. Uh, it's not helping out our communities. Missouri Secretary of State John Ashcroft's office announced Tuesday a petition seeking to expand marijuana use and expunge cannabis-related criminal records was deemed sufficient, meaning in November, Missouri voters will decide whether to legalize recreational marijuana or not. I wanted to see it legalized and regulated like tomatoes. Uh, you know, I think, I think we should be able to grow our own craft cannabis, be able to have it tested, say that it's safe for you know, people to consume, be able to sell it at farmer's markets. Chris Smith, co-founder of Canna Convict Project, says Legal Missouri 2022 will not do that. The proposed constitutional amendment will be listed on the ballot as Amendment 3 and, if passed, would allow for the possession, consumption, purchase, and cultivation of marijuana for Missourians ages 21 and up. I would want non-violent cannabis offenders all of them to be released, period, end of story. Timothy Gillio with the Missouri Marijuana Legalization Movement says another concern he has is if the amendment is passed, he says it will be very difficult to change in the future. And it can be changed, but it's gonna be very, very hard. So the people who put this in place We'll have full control over whether, whether something changes again. The Missouri Secretary of State's office determined the citizen initiative petition from the Legal Mo 2022 campaign contained over 214,000 signatures, surpassing the nearly 185,000 needed to land it on the ballot. To say that, we're, that uh, Legal Missouri is uh, legalizing cannabis, we're not legalizing cannabis at all. Legal Mode 2022 will impose a 6% state sales tax on cannabis that will fund veterans' health care, expungements, and the public defender system. I'm Mackenzie Nelson, KSHB 41 News.